Hi everyone, this is a quick guide on how to measure the level of light on your player. Since I wasn't able to find any good guides online, I decided to create this little one. The way we do it is via render texture. So basically the render texture renders everything that the camera sees and then displays it on the object you want. So to start off, we're gonna need our player, a capsule. We're gonna have to have a single camera. Hold on, come on, there we go. Let's call this the light camera. And we need it to look at the player. So just scroll it out a bit and change its Y angle to 180 degrees. We also want it to be orthographic because there's no reason for a perspective. And just adjust it to view as little as possible. So only your player if you want. For the clear flags, it shouldn't see anything. So we're going to do the solid color. And we're going to use black since its RGB values are zero. So it's easily eliminated. Now we want to create a render texture. So go to create, go to render texture and type in name light check texture, for instance. The settings are completely OK. They're fine as they are. No need to change them. You might want to increase the anti-aliasing to two samples just because of some bugs in Unity. And add the texture under the target texture in camera. So now we want to add a plane just so that we can add the texture and see what's actually going on. Just move it a bit. Rotate it around the Z axis 90 degrees. Okay, minus 90 degrees. And drag and drop the light check texture. As you can see, you can see your player only a bit sideways. <laughs> There's actually no need to change that, but if you want, you can. Nope, just not like that. Ah, never mind. We don't have to screw around with this. And we're gonna need a light. A point light. Just move it a bit to the side. Increase intensity a bit. And as you can see, the render texture actually changed with the light. See? You can drop this camera to zero and actually adjust it correctly. Yeah, this would be fine. So with these three, you basically have everything you need. I'm going to create an empty game object just to hold the script that we're going to use to check the light level. Let's call it light check roller. And add a light check script okay so here we won't need the start method only the update and we need a couple of references. So 
we need that render texture that we created. And we also need a public float light level. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer first this render texture just so that we don't mess around with it during the update. We're going to transfer it to a new render texture, then transfer that new temporary texture to a texture to uh, 2D and grab its pixels. So to start off, we need a new render texture, temp texture, that equals render texture, texture dot get temporary. And we're going to have the exact same width height as the original render texture. So light check texture dot width light check texture dot height. Zero for the depth. Format is render texture format dot default and read write is linear. Okay. So now we're going to use blit just to copy the original texture into the temporary now that we established its size so the source texture is light check texture and the destination is temporary texture we're gonna set the previous render texture just so that we can switch between the actives so render texture previous equals render texture dot active. So we switched this texture that's currently active into the previous. And we're gonna set render texture active to our temporary texture. So that's the one being red. Now we need a texture 2D so that we can actually get the RGB components of it. So texture 2D temp 2D texture equals new texture 2D with source being the light check texture dot width and light check texture dot height. All the textures have to have the same width and height when you're copying them over. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. So temp to the texture dot now we're going to transfer the pixels over read pixels from new rectangular that's gonna have zero x zero y width is the temporary texture is width so temp texture dot width and temp texture dot height and for these it's again zero zero 
so now we need to apply that so temp to the texture dot apply we're going to switch the render texture again now that we have a copy in the texture 2d so render texture dot active equals previous and render texture dot release temporary since we created the temporary texture now we have to release it is the temp texture now that we got our 2d texture and we released everything returned everything back to the way it was we need to get the pixels so color 32 array colors is going to be equal this 2d texture so temp 2d texture dot get pixels 32 and now we got all the pixels from the texture and sort it into an array that we can manipulate so now we're actually checking the light level set the light level to zero just so that we don't mess around with it so, um, so that every time when we go through the loop the light level through the update the light level will return to normal so that we don't add indefinitely and we're gonna loop through the colors so int i equals zero i is less than colors dot length i plus plus And here we want the light level to be. Now we're adding pixel by pixel light level, but what we only need is the white color. We don't need the reds, the greens, the blues, just the intensity of it. And there's actually a formula for that. So that's going to be 0.2126 times red so colors dot i dot r then plus 0.7152f times colors at i dot green and 0.0722f the f's are just for floats in case anybody didn't know about it colors at i dot blue and that's how we get the light level now what i like to do just you know just so that i don't get a gigantic float is round this down and make an integer out of it so i'm gonna make a public int light and say here uh light level minus equals now hold on actually let's just debug the light level just so that you can see what's going on now let's run it all right there's two more things the camera right here uh cannot the problem with it it's it's checking everything so if, if you have a terrain if you have a wall it's going to you know get that <coughs> and not render just the player so you want to add a cooling mask just for the player mask and the player mask is set right here no this object only okay 
now we need for the light check controller just to add the render texture this one and if you want to limit the light with the walls with the door for instance when you open a door your player lights up only then you're gonna have to set an invisible block basically to set its shader to shadows only and set it to a light obstacle mask or something like that so for instance we're gonna just add a cube for its shader actually for its uh, sorry not the shader for its uh, mesh renderer we want for cast shadows to be shadow only as you can see now it's fully transparent but will still block the light and we want to set it to a new layer let's say light obstacle layer and have a cooling mask on the camera for both of those so that now if you move the cube between the player and the light the camera is not going to yeah register it well if it would be in a plane and just add these to the you know walls doors whatever you want to do with it but it's not important for the current discussion so let's run this I don't need the camera as you can see it's showing a light level if I grab the player and move it away from the light it's gonna go down if I move it closer it's gonna go up then down etc so as you can see and that would mostly be that